The newest entry in the Purge franchise has arrived. If you're wondering what exactly happens during the frightening events of the Forever Purge, we're here to explain the film's ending. So let's discuss what actually happens at the end of the Forever Purge before getting into the nitty-gritty details of what it all means. In the film's climactic battle, tribal leader Chiago leads our ragtag group of heroes across the Mexican border as the Ever After Purgers follow close behind. Backed into a corner, the good guys have no choice but to stop running and fight back. During the massive shootout that ensues, Chiago rushes Cassie and the other survivors across as Juan, Adela, and Dylan try their best to hold off the onslaught. Minutes later, Purger leader Dalton corners Adela and Dylan and seems to have the upper hand. When it's nearly too late, Juan uses his lasso in a final moment of bravery to save his wife before putting Dalton down with a bullet through his skull. The remaining heroes then make it across the border uninjured, and they're even greeted with the news that Cassie's labor was a success, and that she and Dylan have a new baby. It's a minor miracle that almost all the main characters of the Forever Purge are alive at the end with something to celebrate, but for the rest of America, we see that the future may not be so bright. The final shot zooms out to show the United States of America on fire. Radio chatter plays that implies a conflict, saying that people are beginning to fight back against their aggressors. It's unclear how much time has passed between the beginning of the Forever Purge and this broadcast, but it can be assumed at least some passage of time has occurred. The future of the U.S. is left ambiguous, but the extremists who organized this great purge are still out there and still killing and destroying. The state of the nation is one of civil war, an inevitable end result of the government social experiment that began the annual purge. By the time we're introduced to all the protagonists of the Forever Purge, the plot sets off in the direction of the border. Juan and Adela's current home is in Texas already, so Mexico isn't very far away. But by the time they reach the border, it's heavily guarded, and our heroes must face off against the militarized purgers in a climactic battle to fight their way into Mexico. But if safe passage is no longer viable, why go? Mexico was opening its borders for the next six hours. This has a lot to do with the characters and their deep-rooted motivations. Juan and Adela want to return to their homeland across the border. Driven by the fear of being in a violent, warring country that hates them, they see no choice anymore. Dylan, too, is backed into a corner. With a pregnant wife about to go into labor, he decides to step up and be a leader, despite having no love for Mexico or its people. Still, it's important for them to cross for the ending to work. That's because the final overt political message of the Forever Purge is a call for empathy. The crossing of Americans into Mexico is a symbol of this theme, and the ending suggests both Canada and Mexico provided enough aid to American refugees for them to begin to recapture their fallen country. While it was originally announced to be the final Purge movie, the Forever Purge might not actually be the grand finale of the series. After all, the ending definitely leaves room for more interesting stories to be told. It seems like series creator and screenwriter for all the films, James DeMonaco, is actually working on the idea for the next Purge movie, even if the story is only in the early stages. DeMonaco said in an IGN interview, If you asked me this four months ago, I probably would have said it was the end. And then I woke up, for better or worse, with a new idea three and a half months ago, and I pitched it to everyone, and I think it's another way to flip it. If the audience wants it, we'll be ready to give it, but they have to tell us they want it before we go ahead. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense to keep the story going. While critics are divided on the film, The Forever Purge, like its predecessors, made quite a bit of cash, especially considering the series' relatively low budgets. Plus, when you have a series that's as political as this one, you can use it to comment on all sorts of social issues, which means The Purge movies could keep the terror going for quite some time. The Purge movie franchise has never broken from its internal continuity. After ending the fifth film on a radio message detailing Americans fighting back, the Civil War-type story could be DeMonaco's idea for the next film. That certainly makes more sense than if he were to make a spin-off or break from the established continuity of the previous movies. But you never know, a time skip can be a useful tool in making stale franchises feel fresh again. Of course, the concept of The Purge is so malleable that it would be wonderful to see the series in the hands of someone other than DeMonaco. The creator has remained extremely hands-on with every property, even after giving up directorial duties following election year. It's still a novel conceit, and it would be great to see the property in the hands of other creators in the form of new movies or on TV. Still, even if DeMonaco continues to guide the series, it means the future is full of fantastic and frightening possibilities. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.